love me now. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're here to tell you guys a story, man. The time I lost my anus. Well, it was a funny time of loss. See, I was walking down the street, you see? When a man come up to me with a phone just like this, talking about it, all fast. Ah, son, yeah, see? I need someone, see? And he shuts his phone just like that. He looks me in the face and he says, You look like somebody that wants to lose your anus. And I turn to him and I go, I just want justice. <laughs> and I put my sunglasses back on for no apparent reason, see? And he walks me over to the side <laughs> and says, you go down this block here, and we take a left there. Then you go, you knock up to a door, you knock three times, just like that. Oh, uh, that's exactly what I did. I walked up to the door, knocked on it three times. Drag queen, transgender, I don't even know what it was, answers the door. Looks at me up and down real funny and goes, you look like a man who knows dick in the ass. <laughs> so I said to her, I don't want dick in the ass, I just want justice. <laughs> So then I put my sunglasses back on again for the second time, unnecessarily, you see? So I walk inside, follow her around, where there's a big round table. One of them old school tables, you see, where they put on a bunch of meals. And they spun it to rotate the appetizer dish to the person who wanted it next. And what do I find? Three, maybe four gentlemen, tied up, wrist to wrist, ankle to ankle, butthole spread as wide as the eye can see, looking at a dead center, like the darkness of a black hole. I walk around, trying to find out what's going on. When a man comes up to me, I think it was a man, but he whipped out his penis and immediately told me to look at it. When I claimed to him that I didn't want to look at it, he told me that I was the type of man who's looked at penises before. <laughs> and I told him, I don't want to look at penises. I just want justice. Then I put my sunglasses on for the third time in a row, completely unnecessary. When he takes me to the beaded room, the adult room he called it, he walks me back into the adult room. And that's when I find him. Big, hulking, gelatinous Mexican of a man. <laughs> the man didn't have a name, just rhythmatic symbols. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Still don't understand for the life of me what it was supposed to mean. <laughs> so I walked in, and the giant, gelatinous, brown man, tit sweat billowing under, having a manservant lifted up slowly and dab. Dab for him! Comes up to me and says, You look like a man that likes dick in the ass. And there we came full circle. And the unspeakable things that happened to me that day cannot be justified. But the one thing that can be justified is that I just want... Justice. And that was my story.